wish babies i don't know how well you can see me but i decided to come out into the yard to paint today so i started painting a flower i'm not super good at painting um but i'm just like i'm really like feeling the world today so you know we're out here we dress up a little bit because we want to look hella cute you know just to go in the backyard got supplies they're so heavy <laughs> I made a spot for Theo. He is currently pooping. Thanks. And I'm gonna finish getting set up and I'm just gonna talk to you about some things, I guess. I don't know. I'm going through a lot. Um, things are actually starting to look up, which is really nice. Uh, for a while there, I was really depressed. And now we're kind of back on track, like just life-wise. So yeah. I'm trying to talk quietly because I've never walked in my backyard before um, and I just I found a new app actually today my I didn't know this but the thing that I the app that I use to edit my videos normally is um they have an app on your phone and it's not as like good as the computer app but my computer like officially died so everything that I have on it is gone um i don't know how to get it working again uh, it's kind of upsetting but it's life so you know we'll just deal with it as it goes um you know so i'm kind of just a little sad about that but it's okay i've been busy doing infusions and trying to get a little healthier it's been a little difficult um the last few months i've been really really sick um and that's not just because of what's going on mentally but it's just like what's going on um physically with my body so for those of you that don't know i have albert Damos syndrome i also have pots mast cell uh narcolepsy i actually made a video on that before um and i feel the troubles you know we're just we're just doing our best life i guess i don't know so i had my surgery on the 30th of march I finally got it placed. It took them about six times before they were able to put me out um, because I'm really hard poke. So there is my port. As you can see, it protrudes a little bit, which they noticed is a little odd. Um, but it's mainly because I don't have any meat there. <laughs> no muscles. Also, do you like my super cute? grandma sweater I got it when we were in Mackinac when we went up for the first time ever with Michael's um, grandma and she actually got the same one so I call it grandma sweater but today is really good so I I'm planning on putting more videos out getting more videos out um, hopefully being able to at some point turn on my computer again to get the videos that I had started editing off of there but we'll see I'm gonna get to painting and then I will check in again in a second so uh, so to be honest, I think we might be going back inside in a second because it's really cold out and even though it's like You know, I have uh, my fingers are so cold But I finished my flower To be honest, it didn't end up the way that I wanted it to. I had a whole other idea for the center Yeah, it didn't happen, but it's okay. It's pretty I'm just getting back into painting and doing stuff where my duties really lies like other things I like more hands-on stuff like I like to paint it's soothing but it's not like a thing you know so Theo helped me pick out a color even though he's a dog you can't really see so I mixed um, some colors to put on, on this I don't know what I'm gonna put on this I mean like it's kind of like Courage the Cowardly Dog colors I use Apple Barrel Petunia Purple and this Apple Barrel Antique White, which I really like. Which I might as well just tell y'all what's been going on. So, yeah, back my last post, I was talking about how depressed I was, how life was just not going my way. Since then, I have had some life, I guess, go my way. What was that all about, Bubbies? Um, I my car broke down not even a uh, street away from my house 
and I was able to purchase my my personal dream car. I know other people are gonna find it silly, but I really like it. I'm all about being a mom someday, so getting a new SUV is like where I was at. So I went from a 2011 um, Chevy Equinox to a 2021 um, Subaru Outback, and it's green, obviously, like everything else that I own. Um, and yeah, I was really excited. Um, we got a really, really good deal on it, and honestly, it doesn't, it's not as badly priced as I thought, so now I have a car to get me back and forth to infusions um, and other doctor's appointments. It's going to be a nice car for when we go down to see my doctors in Ohio, um, and it's going to be, it's just all over a really nice car. I can fit my wheelchair in there. Theo sits really comfortably in there. Um, and hopefully someday children will fit nicely in there um, and we'll all be able to take family trips and have a good time um, but yeah so that's with the car situation the next thing is like I said I got my port place that story really sucks I have a lot of um, medical trauma just from the whole placement um, that's a story for a different time. It's like a whole thing because I'm going to tell you the before I got it placed and then the after I got it placed as well. Um, and me and my husband have been talking about adding to the family, not children wise. Um, he's not quite ready for that. I am, if you can't tell. Um, but we have been talking about adding another dog to the family. But we're hoping when we do get a new one, we want another male. We want chocolate and we want... Um, because that's originally what we wanted. So we found a breeder because um, we're just a little leery of going to shelters. And it's not because we've never had shelter dogs before. I've always had shelter dogs, rescue dogs growing up. But with my husband's allergies and my mast cell, um, it's been really difficult. And I've been really like worried about getting a, um, you know, just getting a shelter dog that might end up having some regular dog in it and then us being too allergic to be able to keep him in the family. So that's why we're going with the breeder. The one that we're looking at right now is um, this awesome poodle breeder. She does strictly standard poodles and um, I haven't talked to her yet because we're not exactly sure when we want to bring a new puppy into her family. It could be in the next few months. It could be don't get wet paint on you. Do not drink the paint water. Um, it could be the next few months. It could be next year. Um, we're really not sure, but we're also really hoping that when we do bring another baby into the family um, with four legs, that it will be uh, good for Theo as well. Huh. Yeah. We go for baby. Yeah. Oh, little bug right here. But we'll ape it. Yeah. But uh, this is kind of a boring video, just seeing me talk. Um, I don't even know where I'm looking because it's kind of bright even though we're in the shade. I still can't really see. Excuse me, guys, know your water bottle. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, if you like this video, if you want to follow our life some more, um, I don't know, maybe click that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 50,000. 50, someday maybe uh 50 subscribers to do maybe a uh, giveaway i'm not sure what i'll give away but you know stay tuned um but yeah give this video a thumbs up please click subscribe and i will see you next time i post